Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna talk about Genshin and the new Genshin. Nobody knew that Genshin Impact would be this big. Not even MiHoYo. Well, now they're called HoYoVerse. For those of you guys who always correct me when I say MiHoYo, hey, it's for you. Before MiHoYo released Genshin Impact, I read this article. I can't find it right now, unfortunately. But one of their developer, probably someone in charge, said that Genshin Impact is an experimental game for their future games. They were planning to make like a VR open world game and they said that Genshin Impact is like an experiment game. It turns out Genshin Impact would probably be one of the better game than the future VR game that they were gonna make. Let's be honest, they were so big. Genshin Impact was a great success. With the pandemics, like the timing was so right. So I'm not so sure if there's gonna be another game that would get a lot of like attention with those kind of otaku games like weeb games, you know what I mean? Where there's gonna be a lot of female characters with big personalities, a guy character with, I don't know, like big weapons, they look all hot and stuff. I'm not so sure. You know what I mean? You know those games that you cannot really play in public proudly? <laughs> not that I'm saying being weeb is bad. It's just the perspective that the world has. Anyways, Hoyoverse has revealed their new game called Zenless Zone Zero. We are about to see what this game is about and we'll probably predict if it's gonna be a good game or not. So here we go. Let's watch the trailer together. That cartoon rendering, we've seen that from Genshin Impact, right? Is that Goba? Okay, those eyes, we know. Okay, that's uh, I I'm guessing Mihoyo is trying to push that male and female protagonist. Oh my god! That is some big weapons! Wow, there are furries too. Mates? Okay. We have to take a look at the gameplay, right? There have been some rumors saying that this game is gonna be a shooter. But it kinda looks like it's more like a Honkai impact. Okay. That is very interesting. Wow, big weapons. Is that a Sinyan reincarnation? But cat! Oh, I'm very happy that Sinyan in this world is very helpful. Alright, I have a feeling that this game is gonna be a lot more fun than Genshin Impact. In the background music though, it's kinda like a... Uh, it, it seems like the background for this game is kind of futuristic, right? Alrighty. Okay. I got chills at the end, do you know why? Because before this video got released, they had this website where they would have this television on the website and you were able to kind of turn the knobs and see what was going on. Warning, warning. A sub hollow has suddenly appeared on the Janus Quarter's August Street some 30 minutes ago. MiHoYo is really, really good at this kind of stuff. Animations, making storylines, and making you feel like you want to play the game. You know those advertisement online where they would say stuff like, Oh, hey, uh, why don't you come back and play our game again? We're gonna give you 50 free summons. 
of three stars. <laughs> Hoyoverse probably had been spending their money they earned from Genshin Impact to fund those other games, and this is genius. Honkai Impact was getting old. They have all those music videos. They have all those, like, animations. Oh my god, the music is so good. Like, everything about that makes you want to spend money on it. And as a content creator, why not, right? So that I can get better experience on how to play the game. But hey, if the beta test for this game starts and the official release happens, I'm not going to be spending so much money in here. A lot of those people who have been spending on gacha games, you probably know that spending $100, $200 for a character is very generous. That's ironic, right? Because DLCs, package games that you can see on Steam or Nintendo Switch or other consoles, they're probably max $100. There are a lot of illegal websites that will let you download console games for free, and that's why a lot of the gaming companies went out of business. And that is very, very unfortunate. Let's be honest. For those of you guys who are probably at around my age, we made this happen. I would like to say sorry for those of you guys who has to deal with all these gacha games. Imagine if my generations started spending money on those console games, there wouldn't be any gacha games. Who the f would want to spend $100, $200 for a character? And then they came back, hunting us with a new business model that kind of hurts us the most. They're hurting us back. So I'm hoping in a long run in the future, there's going to be a lot of government regulations. It's happening already. A lot of the governments stepped in to stop those greedy gaming companies to just take away people's money like that. There had been a lot of games in Korea. There were very greedy ones, and they had been lying about the rates. Even if they had to show the rates somewhere, it was all a lie. They have made it so that it's almost impossible for people to look for the rates. This is why I try not to play Korean games. They are so toxic when it comes to those kind of things. Yeah, you might say Chinese games are toxic too, but hey, at least those Chinese games don't lie about the rates. It's just that they disappear after a couple of months. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the topic. I'm so sorry, I usually don't want to talk about these kind of things, but I was watching other YouTubers, right? And they would share their personal experience, they would share their personal thoughts, and I absolutely loved it. So I thought maybe it would be a good time for me to kind of get together and just have like a video where it would feel like I'm talking to you and you're talking to me. Well, you're gonna be leaving comments. But Tectone was right. If I treat my camera right there as if somebody's like watching me from there, you know? Like as if... That's my buddy. I don't think I don't mind talking about stuff like this. So Zenless Zone Zero looks like an action RPG where it's kind of like a mixture of Honkai Impact. And if they have the open world in this game, then it's probably going to be like Genshin Impact. And I really hope that the cartoon rendering that we saw on the video would stay the same. I would really, really love it if this game was made for PC. So maybe you can feel like you're playing a triple A game for free. You know, I got you guys. I will pull for the newest character all the time and I will try to review it and make people spend money if they can. Hey, while well, FTP players can just enjoy this game for free. So what do you guys think about the game overall? Like from the trailer, we don't get a lot of information, but we just saw that it has a very similar gameplay as Honkai. Although I didn't play a lot of Honkai, but I did watch a lot of people playing Honkai because I was thinking about starting it. Anyways, I'm going to be leaving that closed beta sign up link in the video description down below so that you guys will not miss out on this great game. I can probably guarantee you that this game is going to be a lot of fun, even if they don't have like a PvP leather system. Probably not. This is MiHoYo game, right? Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and that's how you support me. Thank you so much. Adios.